In this video, we're doing integration by parts part three, one which I affectionately call round and round after my calculus teacher in high school who made us fill up an entire room of chalkboards to understand that we could have stopped on the second step as we went round and round seemingly forever. So let's see, we're going to start off with Liate to help us decide what U is going to be. So we look at, are there any logarithms? No. Any inverse trig? No. Any algebra? No. Any regular trig? Yes. All right. So we've got U is cosine x, and dv is e to the x. Now what makes this a round and round problem is we have any combination of e with sine or cosine, which is going to make it a circular sort of problem. When we integrate e to the x for v, we get e to the x. When we take the derivative of cosine, we get negative sine x dx. Now, the key to round and round problems is to always copy the original problem on every single step, and we'll see why that's important in a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and start with uv minus the integral of v du. So u times v is e to the x cosine x, that part's done, minus the integral of v du, which would be a negative e to the x sine x dx. Now, most people would prefer to bump this negative outside, so let's go ahead and bump that outside. Now, this piece is done. Let's look at that back part. If we look at that back part, it's another voodoo round and round. So, again, we need to pick an appropriate u. So, no logs, no inverse trig, no algebra, yes trig. u is sine x, dv is e to the x, v is e to the x, and du, the derivative of sine, is cosine x dx. Copy the problem again. We've got the integral of e to the x, cosine x, dx is equal to e to the x cosine x plus, well, let's see, now we need to do our formula. u times v is e to the x sine x minus the integral of v du is e to the x cosine x dx. Now, here's what makes this a round and round. If you're not paying attention, you're just going to keep integrating, and this problem's going to get longer and longer and longer forever. But look at this term. You've got a minus integral e to the x cosine x dx on the right side, which is a matching term to what you have on the left side. So that's like an algebra problem where you've got an x on one side and you've got a minus x on the other side. Wouldn't you add that x to the other side so that you could have two of them? Well, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to add this term plus the integral e to the x cosine x dx to both sides. So if I add another one of those things over here onto the left side, watch what happens. I now have two integral e to the x cosine x dx on the left side. On the right side, this integral canceled out, so now there's no operations to perform on the right side. The right side is done. So now all i got to do is look at the original problem. I need one of these. I currently have two of these. So why not divide both sides by 2? Now I've got the original problem equals an answer plus C. 